You ready now? Yeah. Hi, I'm Josh Shipley. When I'm not working at Independent Bank or volunteering at CBU, by the way, your idea. I just helped a little. Uh, I also uh, have been appointed to the Shelby County Historic Commission. And I'm going to take you on a three mile guided tour of the historic markers in downtown Memphis. Here's our map. You can see we're going to kind of stay uh, around Union, Main, Mill Street a little bit. Uh, there are a lot of markers downtown, so we have a lot to choose from. Uh, but I didn't want to do this alone. That would be boring. I wanted to go with my family. And this is what I thought would happen when we went on this trip. We'd have a great leisurely stroll. We'd see Bill Street. It's walking in Memphis. I'd have a tape measure, which I left at home, so it would be 10 feet. And my son would sleep. Uh, but that probably wasn't going to happen. When I asked my wife to go, I wouldn't think about the fact she's eight months pregnant. Probably wouldn't want to walk three miles. My son hasn't listened to me in two months and runs faster than me. Uh, so he'd be hard to keep straight while we're out and around. So we decided to go to the farmer's market first. First weekend it was open. Let him get his wiggles out a little bit. Uh, play with the dogs. And we saw our first marker. First marker was for the first telephone in Memphis, Tennessee. Obviously the site doesn't exist anymore, but those markers there to tell you about, right? As we were leaving the farmer's market, Sam had to pee. Uh, we didn't have him in a diaper. We were supposed to be over here. We're in a car going somewhere around in here. So around here, my wife made a comment about the wisdom of having a diaper. Uh, I made a comment back about peeing second. Uh, she said it wasn't time to have our child arrested for indecent exposure, so we ended up in Midtown. Uh, as we were going to Midtown, we thought maybe this project's doomed to fail, uh, but then we saw New Lynn's Garden and World Famous Steak Cheese. We didn't have time to stop and eat, but I want to go there for lunch. Uh, anyone who wants to meet me there, let's see just how world famous the steak cheese is. And we decided that we need to change the title. Uh, so now I'm Clark Griswold, dragging my family along on a vacation they don't want to take. And we're just going to have some fun, right? So if we get a chance to take pictures of markers, hey, we'll take pictures of markers, right? Well, Sam decided that he had peed and he wanted to fall asleep. You don't wake a sleeping toddler. Never wake a sleeping toddler. So we just drove around town, and when we saw a marker, we stopped and took a picture. That is the least controversial Civil War marker in Memphis, just so everybody knows. Uh, nobody has to remove that marker. Uh, it's perfectly okay, right? Um, lots of churches downtown, and uh, as we were driving, this is really, you know, kind of on the far side of downtown, but St. Peter is really close to the original site for Christian Brothers University, or CBC, right? So I couldn't come here and not have a picture of CBC, and it's a great day at CBU, right? It's a great day to eat late, right? That's not historical, but maybe it will be one day, right? We'll put a marker at it, right? Uh, well, we started to head back downtown, and then he still was asleep, so we went back out towards Midtown, got Sun Studio, went back down to Court Square. We did not park, I just jumped out of the car and ran. Didn't find a uh, marker I was looking for, Cotton Carnival, so I just took a picture of a marker. Uh, then we realized we had a stroller. We could have been walking all along with our child sitting in the stroller. So we parked at Fun to Park, it is Fun to Park, and took a picture of uh, a shirt that we bought at the Cotton Museum, and it was 100% cotton. And then I love this. My next Ignite presentation is going to be if any of Cora James' psychic predictions came true. Uh, we have a marker for psychic predictions downtown, and then my pregnant wife got hungry. We needed food, so we went to Aloe Pizza, which was wonderful, by the way. Sam had his first cannoli, and as we were sitting there, a trolley went by, and we realized we'd never taken him to see the Peabody Ducks or on a trolley ride. So we decided to go over to Peabody and see the ducks. The ducks are actually as wild as my son. They were <laughs> flapping and splashing and having a good time, and he wanted to get in there with them. Uh, we wouldn't let him because the sign said, don't let your two-year-old son get in the water and chase our ducks. So we decided not to do that. And we left and went on a trolley ride. There he is waiting patiently for the train. And then he pointed out a sign, first tavern, right? No, he didn't point that out. I found it, thought it was very important. Uh, I know I didn't tell you a lot about my markers, or I'm sorry, not my markers, the historic markers. Uh, but I got a couple in there, right? There's Piggly Wiggly. That's not downtown. That's Cottontails, East Memphis. But my wife said we had to go because we're having a girl. She needed to buy something, right? Well, I didn't tell you a lot about historic markers, but there is a site. Uh, you can go to the website, the county register's website. See all the markers there in Shelby County if you really want to go see them. It tells you where they are. You can find them yourself. Thank you.